Pretty good zoom on that one, isn't it? This is like the coven that we went to in the boat. Oh, oh, like you just literally come in and then go out again. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So.
Actually, we're just going down there, isn't it? It's like a pure pitch point. We don't settle down there, so... This meltwater would seep underground, create little underground ponds, pools, rivers. As more water would flow in, uh, it'd create like a whirlpool in effect. Uh, so the rock would have been eroded away and the cavern would have been created. Now, with this meltwater, it brought a lot of sand and silt, minerals, dinosaur poo, <laughs> whatever you can think of, it probably brought it down. Uh, and in some cases, it's formed little geode structures like this. Now, a geode is a tight collection of material uh, formed under great pressure, great heat. And in this case, it's formed very large calcite crystals. Um, so it's a calcite geode. Um, and you can tell it got quite hot by the little burnt edges of the crystals there, little blackened tips. Another quite good example is uh, up here, above your heads. Um, this geo, you can see the brown line beneath it. Uh, it looks like it's melted at one stage. It's gone a bit rusty as well. You know, there's a bit of iron in there, metal. Purple one's good. Together, I mean, well, this is going to be apparently quite impressive as well. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's tall. It's high, kind of, isn't it? Okay, 
das Reiz. Welcome to Oxford Nice big cavern. Slip race. Weird. 